Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, CityZilla, and we are going to be building out our airport today. But first, I wanted to jump into a couple quick fixes. Uh, with the recent update, we are now able to upgrade the trees on the roads. And I think this is just such a fun feature, and it allows us the ability to kind of set the tone for different neighborhoods, and especially like the, with this one. I want to choose either this coconut tree or this generic date palm. And these are two trees that came with the recent update and these were free. Everybody, everybody got these and it actually came in this separate little column, the content creator trees. And it's a really good selection of basic trees, nothing too crazy, but just enough to kind of give you some variety. And, and I love that they didn't make you pay for it. Um, and so looking at these two trees, I think this one that's a little bit brighter is going to be better. And I want to say that it is the coconut tree. No, I'm, I'm wrong. It is actually the generic date palm. And I think this right here just, it makes, you know, it's a really good mood and it's so funny. It looks like we have a rock right there. I thought we went through and, and deleted these guys, but look at this guy. This is like a huge rock. It's like, did nobody notice this? They're just driving past it. Some people are driving through it. That would not be safe. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And then I'm just going to upgrade these roads and then we'll be able to kind of look at them. And there we go. I really like that. I am a huge fan of this new feature. I think it just cleans this little avenue up so well, especially with the vibe that we were kind of going for. I really enjoy it. And now the second thing I wanted to do before we jump into the airport's DLC was to create some more access. Right now, this uh, intersection up here combined with this intersection right here is really creating a lot of problems for us. We haven't set up any of the priorities on the road and you can kind of see, like, look at this, it's just backing up. And a lot of it has to do with this one intersection right here. This is the one freeway that leads directly into our little transit mini downtown area. And what's happening is they're getting stuck at this light and so, I'm going to go ahead and pause it while we work on this. And what I'm thinking is we will go ahead and cut this road back. And it does kind of suck because I was hoping to do like uh, some sort of unique building or something right there. But I think this would be a necessary fix for the city. And so what we're going to do is we will just continue this on to the next grid and we'll turn it in slightly. But then as we go up this way, we will hit unmodded and we will lift it up one. We really don't need to go too high here. We just need to go high enough to get us over that key wall. And then I want to curve it enough to where we can get a nice even curve out of this. And I think that's going to be good. That's even a little bit sharper than I was planning right there. But I think that this kind of swooping curve right here looks good. And what that's going to do is just create a bunch of access for us. So now what I want to do is go into traffic manager and I ended up putting it up here in our little UI and I want to hit on priority signs and then I'm just going to hold the shift button on the road. And what that does is it selects that entire road to where if I click on it, it gives priority to this road on every intersection. So it puts yield signs on literally every single intersection or road connecting to this road. And that's exactly what we need. This is a main arterial and so we would not want other roads having priority over this road. And we did already set it up on this road, I believe. Yeah, we got these ones set up as well. But while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and unpause. We're gonna hit this road as well. And then we're gonna kind of go around and look at some of our other minor or major arterials like this guy. But then we are gonna switch up and hit these roads. These are more of our major arterials since they are connected to the freeways and then they really help to get traffic over here. And so we would want those roads to not be impeded. So now that we fix that, we should really start seeing some traffic flowing through here. You can see it's already pumping through here pretty fast, even though that is still a yield. These cars aren't being stuck at this light anymore. And right now we're getting a little bit of a backup right there, but it's just because all the, this traffic is trying to unclog itself. And it is gonna take a little bit, um, but this is something that will end up fixing itself. Another thing that I'd kind of identified was this weird little little switch over right here. And I think what we can do is pause the game and cut this back. And then we are going to go down to a single lane and it does kind of suck. It's going to force these people to merge into one lane, but I think 
this uh this little interchange really isn't the busiest and so i think it's gonna be okay i do want to look at that height though i don't think that that's super realistic we're just gonna bring that down a little bit so that we can get a little smoother of a transition out of that yeah i think that's okay it is still a little bumpy but i think if we go up to this guy bring this down just a little bit you know what? I think that's okay. You still get a little bit of those bumps, but those are things that you see um, in real life as well. It's not common for roads to be uh, perfectly flat. And so now what that's going to do is allow us to go over to a four lane highway. We'll probably go to this guy with the sound barriers. And I ended up doing some upgrades off camera with mods. I, uh, I already had this is this mod is the yet another toolbar i had it before because it allows you to expand these but i never mess with the opacity or the color so let me know what you guys think i personally like this a little better it kind of allows a little bit of texture to run through so that it's not like blocking the view but then i also got zoning adjuster i went into a couple post-process mods like render it and then um, some load fixes for textures and stuff like that um, but I am still running, it looks like node controller is the only one that I'm currently having issues with and I'm really not sure what the problem exactly is with it. Oh, it does look like we uh, messed up on that road a little bit. This would be really unsafe. Whoever built this road should be fired. This is just not, not great. Four lane two way highway, so we definitely don't want that guy. We want a four lane highway with sound barriers. Yeah, whoever the engineer was for that, that is just not great. And so now what I'm hoping is we can actually come in here and kind of look at our nodes. We have one, two, three. I'm not really sure why that one's wide. Oh, I think it's because we had actually made it a little bit wider, but we can come into this guy and I'm still getting used to having that button up there. We'll go like that. And now there should be enough space for these cars to switch lanes and get over here. Because another issue we were having is all these cars were getting off instead of coming through and then going up there, which is creating an issue for us and so now what i'm hoping is we'll start to see more cars come through here and then switch lanes and get off yeah because what we're getting is i mean it looks like we're not having any issues with this though it looks like this current direction just because we don't really have this hooked up to anything isn't really getting a lot of traffic and so if you can already see it, it is flowing we are not having any other issues and this will definitely fix itself you can kind of see now we're at 74%, but once this clears up, we'll be back up into the 80s, and you can already see it was backing up to here, and it's already on our ramp now, and this one was way back here, and it's already clearing through, and so this is going to definitely help to split up the traffic a little bit. And these ones are set up, this guy's set up, and so perfect. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and so I did end up getting a name for our little park area, and I think it is just fantastic. So right now it is Vermont Garden, but we are going to change it to Crater Rim Park. And I thought it was so funny, um, the commenter is VE5VV, and he had mentioned that some of the people could be you know like oh i'm gonna go out to the rim for a run or whatever and so it'd kind of be like a slang term within the city and since this would be definitely be a trendy area to go to and so you'd probably see a bunch of people running up and down this and and so i really like that thank you so much for the comment um if you guys have any ideas for the little downtown area um maybe we can incorporate it into that like crater rim park we could just call this crater rim um but we'll see if you guys come up with any suggestions we'll go ahead and do that it does look like we're having a fire over here and this is um, actually where we're going to build the, the airport. And so what I want to do is jump in here. We ended up reaching another milestone. It was literally right after the last episode. And so we're going to go ahead and look at that. And so it was capital city, 30,000 population. Looks like we're now at 32. Um, but it unlocked ships, university campus, the university path, a couple paths, uh, everything that came with the university campus. But then also a couple other things like the eco water treatment plant, which I really I think with the airport, we're going to end up redoing um, an industrial service complex. I think it'd be a good opportunity for us. And so what I want to do is purchase this guy. And so I'm going to kind of get a little crazy with this airport. So I am going to try my best to do a good mix of time lapse or jump cuts with kind of going over with some of my ideas. Because I think whenever you're planning on doing something this large, you should definitely come up with some sort of plan. Because um, a lot of times whenever you're just winging something like this, it just comes out not that great. And I kind of have played a, 
played around with this a lot now to where I feel a little more comfortable with it. Uh, my first airport build, I played around a little bit with that one, but I definitely didn't do as much as this build. And so um, I'm excited for you guys to see it. And so what I'm thinking is we are going to first go in and level this out. And we had a couple um, different directions we could go with this because we have this beach front. We had kind of a layering effect with the elevation. And so my first idea was to create kind of a waterfront area with a couple layers or to do a giant plateau. And after kind of building them out, I ended up building out both ideas. I think doing the plateau is gonna be a little bit better. And so what we're gonna do is jump in here and I'm gonna choose this guy as our level. And we're literally gonna come out here and we're just going to smooth it all the way out. You can also use the airport paint tool, but I find that the edges just aren't as smooth. And so I normally will just level it out first and then go back. All right, so I think that is the basic idea. And so I'm not really sure if we'll end up doing key walls or just leaving it a cliff face like this. I think it kind of looks cool. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know. Um, Cause I still do want to maybe incorporate this into a beach area. Um, it kind of makes me think of LA. LA, LAX has a really big beach on the other side of the end of its runway. And it's kind of interesting because when you're on the beach, um, the planes just kind of fly right over you. But it just because having this beach would be such a big asset for the city. We do still have quite a few other beaches within the city, but I think maybe doing something here might be fun, but that'll be for a later episode. And so what we're gonna do here is we are going to grab our picker mod, grab this guy, go to unmodded, go straight, cause we should be flat. And we are gonna come out far enough to provide a little bit of space. And I think maybe even a little bit further than that. Yeah, I think right there is good. And then what we're going to do, because what I'm thinking is we're going to have kind of a swooping terminal on either side. And then I want to do something fun with the hotel in the middle. I kind of had an idea using some water and I think it's just going to come together really fun. And so now what I want to do is jump into a three lane one way with a bus lane since the bus lanes are so heavily utilized with this. And you know what? Backtrack scratch that for a second. I want to draw out a pattern for this. And this is going to be important because I want this to be parallel. And so we are going to go like that and then we're going to come up and you know, we'll come up again. So we'll go like that and then we will delete these and then we'll jump back into our little bus lane road, three lane, one way with a bus lane. We'll go like this. We'll go like that. And then now what we do is we jump back into our rural roads and we'll go like this. We'll go one out. We could actually go a little further. So maybe go one more out. Yeah, I think that's going to be one, two, maybe even one more. Yeah, we'll go one more and then one up. And so one more, one up and then two down. And the reason we're doing this is because I'm really trying to get a nice curve out of this. And I could just use the complete connection in this, but I'd kind of already done it before the network multi tool is updated. And so now I just want to kind of show you guys what it is. And so what you do is just go about halfway and then you jump into the road that you want to utilize, or you can cont continue using the dirt roads and then just upgrade them. But we'll come out here, we'll curve it in. And then we will come in here and delete this guy and go back one and then go jump back into our road, go like this and then complete the connection. And so now what that does is it gives us a nice little curve entrance way for us. And we're going to be kind of playing around with this with some ideas. Um, I really want to incorporate our trams into this and then we're going to be doing some Metro as well. But I think because we have that big tram network downtown and then with our idea to do a downtown over here, I think this would be a good middle point. So we'll have like our main kind of business district downtown, but then we'll have more of a broader downtown with this beachfront, maybe some nightlife and stuff. And so now what I'm thinking is we will jump into our paint airport tool and just paint this guy real quick. All right, now that is done and we can actually jump in here too and uh, remove all this sand since this would definitely not still be up here. They would have probably removed it. It depends though. Like I think this probably would have cost the city a huge amount of money, but after building the downtown like that, we can just say that a bunch of 
you know, investors came in with a ton of money or something like that. And so what we want to do is jump in here and I'm going to use the ultra modern two story terminal. And then I want to create two parallel terminals. And so you got to kind of just get that snap. It's kind of hard sometimes, but you can get it. And so we will bam, get all that unlocked. So we got all our small hangars, small parking, small taxi, small aircraft stands, the airport bus terminal, which I don't know if we're going to use, but we might because of our dependence on trams, I think we may just go all in on trams. I think we may have gone just a little bit too far because I think we're going to end up being out that way. So I think what we're going to do is we will delete this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. And then I will go into move it, select these and then just ship them back. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if that's going to be perfect, but we are going to try. Yeah, there you go. And so now it just provides a little more space. I had uh cause what I'm thinking is we're going to do long-term parking right here, long-term parking right here. We'll end up doing an industrial area on the left side of this runway. And then we will end up doing some parking garages and short-term parking in the middle. And so I want to make sure that we have enough space to complete our terminal with still allowing some room up here for maybe some hangers, or just taxiways for planes to travel from one side to the other. And so now that we have that, I want to jump into our terminals. And so we're going to do the ultra modern airport concourse. And I want it to be level down here. And so I think we're going to go, we'll go like right there and we will come out one and then we will branch out. I'm thinking to the 39. I think that'll be good. So like right there, we're going to mirror that on this side. So it was that, yeah, it was, on par with that and it was just out there and then we will come out here to the 39 perfect and then now what we'll do is we will come up here go like that and i wonder if you can use the complete connection it looks like you can this is just fantastic and so what i want to do is go like right there i think that's going to look pretty good it's a little more sharp on that side than I would have liked, but I think that looks pretty good. And so we're going to mirror that on this side. So we're going to go up to like right there and then we're going to come down to like right there. Is that the same? It's so hard to tell with this. So I think we're going to hit enter and then we can always come back in. It does look like this one's a little bit further out. So I think we will go like that and then jump back in here. Complete connection. Go like that, go like that, wham, bam. So this one's a little further down. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So we will hit enter. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. And so the idea behind this is we are going to put our large aircraft right here and they will kind of have their own corners. And a lot of times with airports, this is kind of how it's set up. You have your international terminals kind of a little separated from the regular ones because you would have separate like passport checkpoints or even security clearances a lot um, just because of the added security of leaving the country or entering the country. And so now what I want to do is take our rural road again. And because I want this to be precise, we are going to come up here and then we are going to go four out and then I think four up this way as well. And so we'll go one, two, three, four. And then the idea is, is we will have our concourse. Maybe we're going to go one more out. I think one more would be good because I don't want it to be too sharp on this side. I want it to be more of a curve. So we'll go like that. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And you know what? I think that is pretty good because it still leaves some room over here for us to do a turnaround and then some hangers and a couple taxiways for the planes to get to the other side. All right. So what we're going to do is go right here and then we will come up one and I'm using anarchy to make sure I can draw on top of that, that road. And then we are going to jump into complete connection mode, hit our two nodes, make sure they are on the right sides. And then what I want to do is to increase the size of these circles. And so if you just hover around, until it turns blue. Sometimes it's kind of iffy. Yeah, there you go. And then you can change the diameter of it. And I want this to be kind of big. I think we're going to do the same on this side. So I want the curves to be really smooth. 
Yeah, you know what? I think that right there. So 104 and then 192. And then we are just going to attempt to copy this on this side. So it's 104 and 192. And so we're going to jump into the blue part and go up to 192. And then 104. And then we are just going to attempt to move these until they are even. So I think right there, yeah, it looks a little high. So like right there, and then we are going to move this guy down. Because I think this is actually kind of farther down. Yeah, it is. It's not that far, though. Because we still want a little bit of a straight. Maybe we'll come like right there. I should have looked at the distance on this too, the 23 meters. <laughs> but it's all right. And so what we want to do, so 104, it kind of looks a little sharp right there still. Maybe if we go like that. No, it's definitely farther out. You know what? I think that actually looks pretty good. We're going to hit enter. And you know what? That looks pretty similar. It does look like this one's a little more curved than the other one, though. I think we ended up with a little sharper of a curve on this one. But I think it looks good. It's kind of imperceptible. You can see a little bit of an issue on this end, though. It does look like this one was just a little bit higher. I think we'll, we're will we just going to fix this because it's going to bother me. So it was a 104 and then 192. Yeah, you know what? I think that one looks a lot better. That looks pretty close. And I did find out to uh, increase the radius. You just have to hover on the edge. And so it makes it a little easier. So now we are going to remove this guy because we do not need it right now. We'll probably end up drawing one back in though. Uh, maybe we should have just finished that because what I want to do is uh, finish this road layout. And so we are going to jump back into our bus road. Go to the three lane one way with buses and I want this to follow along and I want it to favor the wide side a little bit we're gonna follow it on this side too just so that we can get close there we go and then now what we're gonna do is have it curve around and we can actually jump into here and let's see what kind of curve this gives us yeah, you know what? I actually think that looks really good. I think we are a little off on this side, though. It looks like it is. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. And so we are just going to hit enter. And then we are going to follow the same path for the upside. But I want it to loop in front of the connection. So we're going to go to unmodded first. And then we're going to go like that. So it was two nodes up. So we are going to go, I don't know if that's two nodes up. And so we will come back here and we'll go like right there. It's a little bit further. It looks like it's up here now. So we'll go like that. And then the idea is, is we will have this loop around on the inside of the circle. I think it would just end up looking really cool and create a little bit of that height difference so we're going to go like that and we're going to extend it out to maybe like right there. We're going to hit enter. And so the reason we're doing that is because we need to provide a little bit of access for this upper level. And so I think what this does is it allows us to have a branch off road. So what we're going to do is we will come in here and we will go like this. And we will have it just follow this road a little bit. And so we want to be on a similar angle on this side. I'm going to turn off snapping. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I am going to go back in here and clean this up, though. Without snapping, it definitely works a little better. So we'll go like right there. And then what we need to do is have this go down. And what I could do is have it go down into one intersection or have it go down kind of separate. And I think if we could curve this in, it would just make a little more sense. Because I think what we're going to end up doing is creating a road right here. And so we will do this guy. And I want to turn back on snapping so I can get that node. And we're just going to bring this up a little bit. So like right there, just so that we're aware of the difference. So it looks like three, four, five, four, five, six. 
looks like we're a little bit closer on the right side. And so I just want to shift this back just a smidge. And then I'm going to increase that. And then I do want to go in and switch these roads around. Because a lot of times whenever you're using Move It Mod or something like that, and then you end up switching the roads, it can mess up the connections. And there we go. So we have a basic turnaround with a little road. We have provided access for the upper level right here. And I think that this just looks really good. I do want to go in and fix this guy though, that, that its slope would be really extreme. And then I think on the other side probably as well. And so for this guy, what I want to do is create some more interest. So I want this to come up, but then I want it to curve down and go out a little bit further and then connect to this road on the ground level and then provide a loop around to come up over here. But then we are also going to provide an actual loop around on the inside as well. Um, because the bottom level is really for the ground floor as well, more so than the upper floor since they would already have uh, the first turnaround. But I think it just kind of keeps it interesting. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I think we did end up with a little bit better of a connection on this left side rather than this side. But I think it looks good. We've got some nice uniformity. We've got some good levels. There's no crazy bumps in here. This would be a nice transition. And then what I want to do now, we even got like some little concrete pieces in here, which is just fantastic. And so we will go in here and then I just want to do a loop around. Now, you know what? We will create a little more interest again, just because, you know, it's an airport. We want this to be interesting so why not we're just getting crazy hey you know what i think that looks pretty good i like that you can still see a little bit of the road down below and so that's a good opportunity for us to maybe put some trees or something in there but then it's just a nice turnaround and then what we're going to be doing right here is our parking garages and then probably the tram terminal and so i think that is a pretty good um starting point so now what i want to do before we jump into some anything too crazy in here it does look like that one. <laughs> There's no way that's center. We didn't even, I didn't even look at this. Oh man, so we got to fix this first. So we're just going to come up here. We're going to go like that. We're going to come out here. I mean, it's close, but it is definitely not perfect. And there we go. I um, ended up leveling this a little bit. That road was just way off. And so um, I think now we can finally delete this guy for the last time. But I really like this road layout. I think it is very interesting and it kind of reminds me a lot of airports where you just have a bunch of these roads kind of everywhere and a bunch of these overpasses. And so now what I want to do is jump into our runways and our airport stands and then our taxiways. And then once we start leveling up, we will unlock the hotel and then we can start playing around with some of the other features. And so let's go ahead and jump into runways. And so... We're going to do a runway over here and we will probably do a pretty sizable one. We'll go like right there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then this side, I want it to be far out, but I want it to also provide room on the other side. So we will go like right there. And we just want to make sure since we did turn that runway towards the city that it's not blocked with any buildings or anything. And we're definitely clear. And so that's good. And so now we have left a little room on this other side to do our uh, cargo airport and then uh, probably a service center. We might need to do some more terraforming. But I think this is pretty good for right now. Um, two runways should be good. I know normally airports ha tend to have a ton of runways, but I'm not an airport pro. And so. I'm not sure exactly how many is, you know, standard or something like that. But um, I do know that we don't want these to be super close to the runway. We would want these to be at least a little ways away. I'm not sure the actual feet that they normally put them away, but no, they're not normally like right next to the runway. And there we go. So now we have all of our taxiways and we will, as we upgrade, be tearing some of these down and doing some remodeling, I guess, and putting in some medium airplane stands and then we'll eventually be putting in some large ones down here. And so now what I want to do is look up our taxiways. And I do want to try to be mindful of this. So we have the taxiway running this way. And then we have the taxiway running that way. And a lot of times with taxiways, they are diagonal roads. And so 
I want to try and create something that is a little more realistic. And again, I'm not an airport engineer, and so I'm not entirely certain how these are supposed to go, but all right. And so now what we can do is take this guy and then have it just curve in. We'll probably go like right there. I think that's good. And then by having it as slants, it does help the game run it a little better too. Sometimes the planes have an issue um, making turns like that. And so one of the things I do want to do is create some more accessibility. So we will come in here and we will just do some connections, just a couple, nothing too crazy, but enough to provide multiple access points for planes so that they weren't just dedicated into one little area. And so we will go like this as well. Probably, you know what? Why not? So we'll follow that. And then I think this one's good. And so what that does is it just allows planes to not have to run in front of all these, these taxiways. They can just go straight down to wherever their plane is. And I think maybe we could even connect that one up there. I think that's good, even though this one really only provides access for a couple of these ways. But I think that looks good. And then I'm just going to copy it on this side, but just the opposite direction. And there we go. And so this one was a little off right here. Um, these taxiways need to um, connect to the nodes. Otherwise, they really get some issues. And so I couldn't get this one to look really good. I might be able to move this one just a little bit to make it look a little better. Just you got to make sure that they are connected to nodes. No, you know what? We can just keep that like that, though, and then maybe we'll put some plane storage in there because I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to where it looks good. Yeah, it's going to be kind of weird. And so I think that's good for right now. And then, yeah, we'll end up filling that space in. And so now what I want to do is create some bypasses. And so we will assume that this way we'll go like this. And I think we can just come all the way across. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so we'll go like that and we'll just come down. And so what that does is it just provides an avenue for these planes to cut across. And I think for this guy, what we'll do is we will go like that. And then we'll have this go like that. I wish taxiways were two way because I think in, in real airports, they're multiple way, but not entirely certain. But what we're going to be doing is jumping into here and putting in our hangers back here. So we'll go like that. We'll go like that. We'll go like that that and then we we'll probably just finish like right there i think that's good and then i do want to put our taxiway going to the other side as well these taxiways are a little finicky so then we are just going to connect up there and so now if a plane needed access to the other runway they would be able to um, a plane landing over here that would have some issues actually taxiing like uh, going to a gate on this side and so that would have to be something where if they landed over here they would be limited to this way as we really don't have a way to get to the the stations because they're not facing the same way and there we go and so i ended up making another connection on this side just so that planes if they needed to come over to one of these gates they could and the planes are allowed to uh, cross over these guys and use them as roads um, planes can actually come down the runway as a road too i've seen planes trying to navigate to another runway like that and so i think this looks pretty good and we could actually put in a couple more hangers just to fill in this space. Yeah, there you go. I think that looks fantastic. And I'm just going to jump into Surface Painter real quick just so that we can fill in these little gaps. I think that looks fantastic. I'm gonna fill that in too. And then I think we will start filling in some as well, but I want to put in, let's go ahead and unpause just so that we can start getting some planes in. And actually pause again. We need to do some water real quick. Okay, and so I have hooked up water and electricity, and as you can see, these planes are already coming out. And these things are working pretty good. We're actually only getting a little bit of a stutter, and so they're moving pretty fast, and you can actually turn the speed all the way down, and they seem to run pretty well. But I think it's so funny, right, when you unpause, all the planes just show up. They're like, maybe they, uh, I don't know, they're going to go pick up their first passengers or something, but... And then on this side, we got a ton of them going too. And I just absolutely love the animations. I'm sure you guys have seen a ton of them already by now. But, um, oh, we didn't connect power on this side either. That would be pretty important. And so now that we are getting guests, we should hit level two pretty quick. Yeah, we have 440 out of 200 for attractiveness. But then we only need 500 passengers and we're already at 420. And so that should come pretty fast. And then we'll be able to start upgrading 
some other areas. But while we're waiting, what I want to do is start working on this area. And so what we're going to do is something a little crazy. Um, I'm definitely kind of getting a little nuts with this, but we are going to shift and go down. And then I want to choose a height probably like right here. Eh, that's too deep. So we will go like right there. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. And then we are going to level out an area that's going to be pretty wide. And so I want to come down here and we will probably go like right there. And then we will follow the road around. But then we will start to curve up to create a little bit of a park space over here. And there we go. You know what? I think that looks fantastic. And we are going to be using key walls on this. So I'm not super worried about... being perfect right now because we are going to fix it but i'm going to jump into water and what i'm going to do is grab that guy and then bring it all the way down to probably like right there and then we are going to let it fill up and let it spill over and flood our airport real quick okay and so now we have a nice lovely lake and using those water structures is actually kind of really easy if you want to make something smaller you just start off with something larger and then just move down and the water will actually um fall below the, the the ground and areas where you go above. You still do have to shift it in some instances, like we'll jump in here now and we'll kind of see how much we have to shift it. So we're gonna right click right there. And then what we're gonna do is create a little bit of an island. And this is where our hotel is gonna be. And so it doesn't need to be huge, but I want it to be big enough to do a little bit of a park space around it and just kind of make it look really cool. We are going to get a little bit of flooding on this guy too, but that's okay. So our airport is humming along. Looks like we don't have any airplanes right now. We're having a little bit of flooding. We just got to wait for this to uh, subside. All right, and so that is my basic idea for our key walls. I think it's a little off on this one side. It looks like it's just a little bit longer over here. Yeah, so it's, uh, I mean, not much, but it definitely is a little lopsided. Only by about a half a square. There we go. I think that's probably about as perfect as we're going to get it. And so I left the outside without a key wall because what I want to do is go in here to the European Pedestrian Bridge and create a bridge that almost acts like a key wall, but where you can see the pillars for it. I think it's just going to create a really cool atmosphere. So like that, where you can see the pillars kind of going into the water, but then the path is over the water. And so it's not at ground level. And I think this is just going to really create a, a really neat vibe for this area. Okay. So this is what I was thinking. Um, it definitely took a little bit of finagling to get it as close to identical as possible. You can kind of tell they aren't perfect, but they are pretty close and I think they look really good. And so what happened is I put in this path that has these little pylons that actually sit inside the water. And I think it just looks so cool. We added some connections onto this road. I ended up building this road across and then I added some connections over here too. And so if anybody wanted to walk around this, the hotel is going to be in the middle. It would just be really pretty. Like, so say you were waiting for a flight or you're waiting to pick somebody up or you maybe just wanted to come to the airport to check out this cool lake that they had. Um, this would just be a really nice feature for this area. I think it looks really majestic and cool. And so we did end up reaching our next level for the airport. And so we did unlock the luxury airport hotel. And so before we move on, I want to come in here. We're just going to delete this. And then I want to create a couple side roads. So we're going to come in here and we're going to go like this, make sure snapping's on because I want them to be at a 90 degree angle. We'll go like right there. You know what? I think we're going to need to come up. So we'll go like that and we'll go like that. We'll come up one. We'll go like that. We'll go like that. And I don't know if the, <laughs> I think that might be too small for the hotel. Yeah, it is. Um, and so what we can do is I'm going to use anarchy to place it right there. Then we are going to delete the roads if I can get to them. Nope. So we are going to delete these roads first, and then we will go back in and place our hotel. Bam, just like that. And then I want to move this guy back. And I want to have a road come off. 
And we'll go like right there, we'll come here, right there. And we'll go like right there. I think that's good. And then on this side, it looks like we already got the connection. We can actually upgrade this road, the road coming into it. So that'd be kind of weird for it to be like that. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I do want to extend these out though, just so that they are the same level as the other side. And then the idea is, is we are going to, well, I'd rather this be in the middle. So I'm actually going to shift all of this. to like right there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then we can come up here and shift all of this to like right there. Yeah, you know what? I think that is perfect. All right, so I think this is what I was going for with this hotel. I think it just looks fantastic. I really like how we did the key walls and then the path around the outside with the water. I think it just looks really cool. And I kind of got some inspiration from this from a lot of the airports online. Like if you just do a Google search for airports, a lot of them do have water features. Though I didn't really see any that were this big, but I thought that this just looked really cool. And so now I want to dive into our parking garages, a couple hotels, and then possibly our tram station, though we may keep the tram station for next episode, but who knows, maybe we'll just lay it down and then we'll keep uh, the extensions for next episode because I want to do a transit episode. And so what we need to do is first off, put down our parking garages. And I got this really big downtown one. It does look like we are going to have to, oh no, it fits. And so I want it to be probably like right there. Let's go ahead and look at that. Cause I want this road to be able to come off with enough space for us to do the hotels on this road. So I think we will end up bringing this back just so that we can get a little more space and we'll line this guy up with it as well. Cause then we can shift this back. Not a lot, but just enough. Cause I think it would be smart for us to put a little road on that side as well, since it is a parking garage. So we will actually go in here and delete these so that we can do that road first. And then that way we don't have to come back in and delete anything. So I think if we go from like right there, I think that's going to be good because then that also gives us another angle to uh, line this up on, which I think is just fantastic. And so we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and grab another one. Cause I know um, airports a lot, just have a ton of parking garages. And I do want to make sure that this one doesn't mess up the road too much. So we're going to go like right there. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. I think that was kind of the the vibe I was trying to capture. And then let's go ahead and hook up our paths before we forget. And there we go. You know, I think that actually looks pretty good. And so we have this road now that we can bring down and it's just going to help provide a little access. And so we will go like this and we'll come down to this road right here. And then we're going to have to jump over to a tram road. And so I'm going to do, we could do a one way. Let's do a one way. Cause then we can do, so they have a loop around right there. They have that one right there. Yeah. So this one would be good as a one way cause we really don't need to have a two way access right there, but then let's jump into our hotels and see if they fit. Cause we may need to move our uh, parking garages a little bit. And so I am going to anarchy these in. And the idea is I want to create kind of a, a bigger airport hotel. And so what we're going to do is line this up and the, the only issue is the colors. And so we're going to have to play around until we can get a color matching scheme. Cause I want all four of them to ideally be the same colors or maybe we'll do matches. So maybe since we got two blues and two reds, what we can do is um, get out of copy mode and then just grab this, move this over here. And then move this over here. Yeah, you know what? I actually think that looks pretty good. It wasn't my original intention. I was originally thinking we were going to make all four of them the same color. But I think by having them different colors, it maybe represents like two hotel companies. And so I don't really like that that tree is right there. I kind of wish 
Yeah, you know what? I think that's going to be better because we got the tree literally right in front of the door. And then these windows line up too. So I actually think that's going to be a little bit better there. And then there's two entrances so that maybe, um, I don't know, just two entrances into the lobby. And so I think that looks pretty good. Having the two airport signs is, is a little redundant, but I think um, overall the hotels look pretty clean. I do want this one to be level. And it, it's kind of weird for it to be red and blue, but it would be nicer if they were all the same color. Let's just play around with it and see if we can get a couple blues. So there's one blue, there's a blue. Let's see if we can get a blue. Come on. Seriously? Yep, there you go. So then we will delete these guys. I like the blue. I think it's going to blend in really well. So we're going to delete that. We're going to delete that. And then now we will grab this guy. Put him up here. Let him go like right there. And then we will grab this guy. Remember, we want to line up those windows. And there we go. Um, right there. Yeah, you know what? I think having the blue ones, I think having the blue ones looks a lot better. Um, it looks a little more uniform and then it looks like it was more intentional. And so now what I want to do is go in and create our tram layout. So first off, what we're going to do is take this road. So our tram network comes up this road already. And so we're just going to pick this road and then we are going to turn it to unmodded and then we are going to upgrade this guy all the way down. And then the idea is we will have two tram networks that are connected to this. We will have this road that comes and connects down here to this tram network. But then we will also have this road that comes up and does the same kind of thing. All right, and so now what we can do is come over here, curve this guy in. I'm actually going to go to the curve because I want this to be somewhat level. And then we are going to go straight. And then probably about like right there, we are going to turn this into a tunnel. And the reason for this is because it's just going to provide us a couple avenues of level. And so we will allow ourselves to have some more access from different directions. And I think this is going to be really good. And there we go. It's a little wonky, but it was just because that road is there. I could have deleted that road and then had it go in, but I don't think it's a huge concern because what I want to do now is we are going to jump into our tram roads again, and then we are going to go into a the three lane one way tram road, the one that's selected, and then we will go above ground. So what I'm thinking is we will create another crossroad for the tram. So the trams will be connected up like right here. And so what we can do is let's go ahead and draw in the tram road first. Perfect. And so now we can have this loop straight and we'll have these two loop into these sections over here. And then let's just go back to our tram roads. This is going to be a little finicky, but I think we're going to be able to get it because what we need to do is turn off snapping and these guys, and we need to fit this in, in the middle. This is uh, going to be a little tight, but I think this is going to work out well. Perfect. And then now what we can do is literally, so turn back on that and then have this go like that. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. And so now we have multiple access points for our trams and for roads, since this is a regular road as well. And then we are also going to build a parking lot right here. And then we're going to connect that underground road to another road up here with another parking lot. And I think this is going to work out really well. And so now all I want to do is jump back into our tram roads. So we are going to do the asphalt road and we're going to go above ground. And actually, before we do that, I actually just forgot. So we need to delete this guy. That was a mistake on my part, because um, what I want to do is uh, our metro station, and that's uh, going to be a huge deal. And so we need to go into the bridges and piers, and we're going to utilize the elevated dual island platform metro station. And I want this to be like that. And we're going to go like that, and it should be good. Yeah, we're not really clipping. I think we are a little more to that side though. So maybe if we go like that, yeah, there you go. Perfect. 
And then that still leaves room for us to be able to do paths underneath this. So uh, I think it is just going to be a great option for us. But now um, let's jump back to what we were doing. So tram track roads, trams, asphalt. And I want this guy to be right there. And then I want this guy to be right there. And I think what we're going to do is probably six platforms since this is going to hook up to our new downtown and to our old downtown or I guess so our downtown that we just built but then also the downtown that we haven't built yet and so what I do want to do though is create a little bit of interest with this so we are going to have this go up to the curves and then we will have this go down and kind of curve in and there we go you know, it's super easy way to create just a little bit of interest. And there we go. And while we're at it, I kind of want to fix this guy. I mean, I don't know how realistic this would be for them to be matching it to an aerial view, but I think it looks good. Um, it looks pretty cool. And then we're going to be doing some paths and then also some surface painter stuff. And so we will uh, be able to kind of fix that up. But now we do have a regular road jumping in here too. So I think what we're going to do is create this last one as a regular road and we will probably have it go the opposite direction of the top road. Since this is going this way, we will create this one to go the opposite way. And so let's jump into our roads, go to the three lane one way, and we are going to upgrade these guys. And then because the trams aren't going to be running on the other sides, we really only need to do, we'll do a two lane one way. And then we can upgrade this piece as well. And then we can go like this. We'll go like that. And then we do need to go in and make sure that the pillars don't clip those as it looks like we did end up going through a pillar there. And there we go. And then go like that, perfect. And I think that looks pretty good. So we need to change our one way status. So we need to go like that, like that, like that. And so now our trams, oh, this guy's the wrong way. Now our trams have access all the way around and then let's just hook our tram roads up. So let's go in here and then we have the three lane one way. And what we can do is go like that and then come down and we'll actually follow that same pattern. So we'll go like that. I actually think it might be smarter to go to the next one out because of the, uh, it's not going to really work. If we go like that and like that, yeah, you know what? I think that actually looks pretty good. There we go. And then let's turn this guy around before we forget. But then that just leaves a little more space for our, uh, our straight tram track road right there so that the intersections aren't right next to each other. And you know what? I actually really like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in just a couple paths real quick. I think we're going to follow that same pattern that we did um, before on the last tram station. I'm just going to do some underground tunnels. Hey, you know what? I think that actually looks pretty good and it provides access, which is really what we're trying to go for here. And then the people on this other side can just uh, figure it out. There we go. And so now both sides have access and then we can come into surface painter. And then I think we're only going to paint in these middle sections here. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and just uh, extend our tram lines over here so let's look at what we got so we have four so we have four stations that are empty so we will start right here and then just to provide a little access we're going to put a couple stops next to these residentials just because they don't have a tram station already and then on our way back we will go like this go like that go like that and then just complete it up super easy tram station let's go in here and change the color though I think we're gonna go with like a light blue. I think that's good. And then let's unpause and see how many trains. So 10, I don't think 10 is gonna be good because we are gonna do a Metro as well. This is more of like a redundant kind of loop um, because the Metro is probably going to be faster. You're just gonna be able to hop on that and it's gonna go straight there. And so now that we have done that, let's go ahead and jump into our Metro. And so for the Metro, what I'm thinking is we are going to turn on snapping first off go like this and then go into our airports, put in our metro stations. Now I wanna do something similar to what we did last time. So what we're gonna do is put one there, 
we're going to put one there and then we're going to come over here and put one there and then put one here and so what this is going to be is it's going to be a main arterial outside connection for the for the city and for the airport but then it's also going to be an airport shuttle system and i really like how this is set up um, i enjoyed this build out and so i do want to before we forget so we need to go like this and there we go it's probably a little too tall but we're going to go through and flatten all these out. And then we need to put in a pillar right there. Man, we already got a fire. Look at this. This is what happened out here. There's only a few things and they're already burning. Um, and so now what I want to do is come in here and let's see if we can actually use the complete connection mode. That could be interesting. So we'll go like that. We'll go like that. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks really good. I think this side is a little bit wider, but they are very similar. And so now what we're going to do is do the same thing on this side and then hit enter. And there we go. And so now we got a loop around and then let's go ahead and see what we can get going over here. So I want there to be two connections. So I think we'll go like that and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Yeah, there we go. And then let's go ahead and do the complete connection again. It's an e really easy. I could just do it on my own, but, and there we go. And so that is our basic setup. Now I'm just going to go through and level everything real quick. As you can see, we got some stuff that's really high. we got some stuff that's really low. And all I'm going to do is use the moving mod and I'm just going to straighten everything out. Okay. So I leveled out all of our tracks. It looks like this one, I accidentally, <laughs> this would not be safe. Um, it would kind of probably be marketed as a roller coaster if it had that huge of a drop, but I think this looks good. I went around and, um, some of them still have Hills and then I added in some of the pillars and, uh, just made it look good, more realistic. Um, you definitely still see like a couple pillars that are missing. So like here we would probably have one on the sidewalk so we'll have one like right there yeah there we go just to make it so that i mean you wouldn't have this bridge without a support for so long and so yeah you know what that just looks a little more realistic but i think this looks good and then so now we can jump into our metros now and go to this guy and just grab it and then move it back here and i want this one to be in the middle and then what we're gonna do is go right there. Oh, you know what? We um, messed up, so I'll come back here and let's uh, delete that guy. Yep. And we need to create a connection right here. I didn't even think about it. So we need this guy to go, I mean, I think that could be good. And then what we can do is just, uh, we can keep the monorail raised. I can't believe I forgot that. That was like one of the biggest things in my practices. Like, got to do the loop. And there you go. And so it actually stays level right there. And then it just drops down over here, which is, which is okay. And then there we go. And then we can just raise this one up since it's the only one that's lowered. And there we go. And so now we have a little bit of clearance, but then we also have a turnaround for this guy. So then we'll just go like that. We'll go like this. We'll come up here, go on the right side, then we'll come up here, go like that, and then it will loop around, and then we'll come back over here, and then it will complete. And so we'll come in here, and we will go to Metro Line 2, turn this to blue, and then change the vehicles to the Airport Express Metro. Really like these vehicles too. I think they're just fantastic. I think the vehicles content creator pack is so beneficial. It is definitely worth it. Honestly, I think all the new DLCs, the airports the vehicles and the maps have all been really good especially for how inexpensive they are i think it is definitely worth it but i really like this i like how they they actually look like airport shuttles with the flat end and everything like whenever you're at an airport this is what they always look like and so i think it is just great i did end up getting some really cool assets for um, airport trams and airport monorails there was uh, somebody on the workshop workshop who built them out where they look very similar to this. They're just different colors. And so we're probably going to be playing around with some of those two in the future. Um, I have a feeling we have quite a few airport builds in us. And so um, now what I want to do is 
build out our parking. And so I want to go in here to a four lane road when I like we're not even close to the right, right uh, menu. And so we'll come in here and we'll go like that. And let's go like right here. And then we can actually have this one curve out. Let's make it parallel with this road. Cause then what I'm thinking is we will actually curve this up into the middle of our parking lot, which I think would be pretty good. So we'll go like that. And we'll have this come up. Maybe we'll go like that and then have it go straight. So that could be even better. And there we go. And then let's have this just go like that and then go like this. And then this side's good. We need to move these power lines though. Okay, and so what I'm gonna use is the big parking lots, um, the same ones that I used for our university. And so I'm not really gonna dive too much into actually how to build them. If you're interested, the my Crater Lake Institute of Technology build, I dive kind of into these. They're actually really easy. I literally just use the drives, the filler roads, and then the borders, and then you just kind of paint in your parking. And so what I'm gonna do is a two pretty massive parking lots, and then I will jump back with you. And so we're gonna go like that. All right, so I think this is our basic layout for the parking lots. And so now what I wanna do is go in to our transport tab, airports, and do some fences around the outside and just some light landscaping. I don't wanna to go too crazy with it, but I do want to um, do a little bit. It doesn't, do you unlock the fences at level three? Oh man, all right, so it looks as, oh no, they're right here. Okay, good. And so we are going to just go on not too crazy out, but we do want to block off. And so we're gonna go like this and we will probably just go right there. Okay, so I think I may have gone a little overboard with the detailing, but I put a fence around the outside. I did some of the date palms. I put a little rock uh, installation here. I did a couple small rocks with some foliage. I did some more of the date palms around the outside of this with some other trees on the outside, kind of following the path network. I copied the other side on this side and then just did some small rocks with some bigger trees right here. I decided to do a couple of these newer, um, like purple trees in here, just cause I felt like it would be a little different. These blooming jacarandas. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but I think it just looks good. I put palm trees around the outside of this with some foliage and then just did some light trees at back here. And then I think we will end up putting in some rocks right here. And then I want to do um, some plane installations as well. And there we go. I did some rock installations on the inside of the monorail and so, or the Metro. I think it just looks really good. It cleans this area up nicely. And then now all we need to do is do a fence and then put in some plane installations, just some parked planes. And so I think we haven't unlocked the large ones yet, but we have enough space to be able to do some medium ones. So I think if we do some like right here and I'm just going to copy these all the way down probably. Okay. So I put in the plane installations. I use surface painter, which I think it looks really good. And then I ended up putting in this fence on the backside just so that nobody would be able to walk from the road onto the, onto the tarmac. And it does look like we are having some electricity issues. Oh, you know what? I am, um, <laughs> I deleted our our uh, connections over here. So I'm just gonna go in and use some power boxes to complete this. All right, so I think that is it for today. On the next episode, we are going to be putting in our large hangers and then our industrial hub. And then we are also gonna be working on our transportation. So right now we really only have the one tram line, but I think it is going pretty good. Um, our Metro, Looks pretty busy, especially I was really expecting this to be the main mode of transportation for this area. Um, but I like how we did the hotels. I like that they're kind of sunk into the parking garages as well. So they would have direct access. And then I really like this luxury hotel with the water around. I just think that looks so cool. We are getting water issues. I um, ended up cheating a little bit and I took the little power boxes and then sunk them underneath the bridge so that I didn't have to do uh, power lines since this game doesn't allow them. Um, since this game doesn't allow uh, buried power lines. And so I think it looks good though. Um, it does look like we had a fire over here though. Yeah, there we go. And so I hooked it back up. Fire is averted. 
And then we do have trash issues. So we have quite a few problems that we need to work on. So we need to upgrade our trash. We need to do, yeah, our trash is terrible. We need to do some more electricity. We're definitely dipping down. Oh, and it looks like we, uh, oh man, look at this. This happened, I swear, every time. I was like looking at our electricity. I was like, oh wow, we really didn't need as much as we needed before, but man, look at this. This will all grow back though. We'll definitely have to um, pay attention to that. Every time, you know, I delete a power line, especially for this Metro, this is just crazy. But I like how this looks. Um, I think it looks good and we're really not experiencing too many jitters. Um, it's running pretty good actually. It's not, it's definitely not as fast as it should be, but it's still moving and so you can kind of see they're just they're not going fast enough. all right so i think that is it if you enjoyed the episode go ahead and hit that subscribe button um i have a lot of exciting content coming up we are going to be doing the transit episode next with the industrial episode as well and so we'll probably roll that into one because what i want to do is we have metro going in right here but i want to do some ferries i want to expand upon maybe a bus network we really don't have any buses so far but then I want to expand our trams over here. And so we are going to be developing out our downtown. I mean, the next like three to four episodes are just going to be crazy because then I really want to start thinking about this next downtown. And this one's going to be more like a, I'm thinking like Miami, something where you have a lot of nightlife and there's going to be a lot of high rise residential and some office space still, but it's definitely going to be a lot different from this is more of like a business kind of downtown. That's what I was gearing it for anyways. And so let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit that like button and I will catch you on the next episode.